You must try it, guys. It's so refreshing and so good. This is probably, like, my seventh time making this. and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys because it has been one of my favorite new recipes in the last month or so and it is a bok choy Caesar salad. And I know many of you guys probably already know what a Caesar salad is, but this time instead of using lettuce, we are actually using bok choy or baby bok choy. And this has been life-changing, okay? I, I cannot... I cannot rave about this enough. So I got this idea from a local restaurant here in Calgary and it was a vegetarian restaurant and they had this on the menu. It was called bok choy Caesar and I had it and immediately I was like so amazed that I could even eat bok choy raw. Like I never even thought about eating it raw. It's just not something that even crossed my mind and even though I love bok choy so much and you guys know I use it in so many dishes, I always cooked it. But since trying it, raw in a salad, I realized like how amazing it is even when it is raw and in a salad. So I don't know, but like I feel like you guys will probably not have a regular Caesar salad again because the bok choy Caesar it's just so good, okay? So what I love about this is that because the bok choy has so much water content, when you bite into it, it's just so refreshing. It's like hydration, it's like instant hydration. And it's so refreshing and it's so tasty and I'm so excited for you guys to try it. So I looked at a bunch of different Caesar salad dressing recipes and I just kind of came up with this one. I just felt like this was like easy based on what I already had. But honestly, some of the days I just mixed together vegan mayo, mustard and uh, maybe a little sweetener okay or like some like lemon juice i mean it doesn't have to be complicated so feel free to like omit some stuff play around with the dressing you don't have to follow these rules this is just the salad dressing that i came up with and i think it's quite tasty but once again there's lots of other vegan salad dressing recipes out there so feel free to give other caesar salad dressings a try. Another thing to note is that I am going to do kind of like the whole shebang. I'm going to make some chickpea, like roasted chickpeas and also some croutons, croutons, croutons. But you don't have to make these. You can just literally be lazy and just chop up some bok choy, throw in the dressing and you're good to go. But I'm going to show you guys kind of like the whole thing, okay? So if you guys are ready to see how to make a bok choy Caesar salad, then keep on watching. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can watch as I struggle to figure out how to use my oven, okay? Then we are going to be making some croutons. Now, you do not have to do this step, so if you don't want croutons, then don't do this step. But I genuinely like love doing this because it just goes so well with the salad. So I'm just using regular like bread, okay? Just whatever toast whatever bread you already have this was just some like leftover bread that was sitting in my freezer and i just cut it up into little pieces roughly and then now i'm just going to add some olive oil so here i'm just using about two small pieces of bread so i'm using one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and then i'm also going to add in some garlic powder as well as some basil I'm also going to add in a sprinkle of salt and then we're just going to mix everything together. And then we're just going to bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I start with 10 minutes and check up on it and see if it's nice and crispy. And if it's not, then I'll just bake it for a little bit longer. Next up is roasting our chickpeas. So I'm just taking some chickpeas and apparently you're supposed to do this where you just kind of roll it with the paper towel to get rid of all of the skin. I honestly might skip this step next time because I just found it to be tedious and I don't know if it's necessary. What do you guys think? Do we need to take the chickpea skin off in order to roast the chickpeas? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I did it anyway, but I'm lazy. So next time, I'm probably going to skip it. So here we have a pan. We added some oil. We're going to add those skinless chickpeas, guys the skinless chickpeas, the naked chickpeas. We're gonna roast them until they're kind of nice and crispy on the outside, like browned. 
and i'm not sure if i roasted them for long enough but i just kind of did it until they looked nice and crispy but you can also do that in the oven if you would like so whatever option is up to you or you can just skip that step and then we are going to chop the baby bok choy or bok choy you can use either bok choy or baby bok choy it doesn't matter baby bok choy is just smaller than bok choy <laughs> go figure and we're also going to be making the dressing at this point so i'm taking some vegan mayo i found that this dressing was easier than other dressings because i didn't have to like blend anything i could just take things that i kind of already had and just mix it together so i'm using the hellman's vegan mayo which is my favorite vegan mayo it tastes just like regular mayo it's great and then i'm also adding some lemon juice dijon mustard maple syrup or agave nectar nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and black pepper. And we're gonna mix that well. And of course, you can adjust the flavors as much as you'd like. Maybe add some more, something else. Do whatever you want, guys. It's your dressing, it's your recipe. And here are the finished, nice, crispy, golden croutons. Ooh, so tasty. And then all we have to do is put it all together. Super simple, guys. We're just gonna put the croutons in, the chickpeas in, the bok choy, make sure you wash that bok choy. I didn't show that part, but uh, yeah, make sure you wash it. And then we're just gonna add in the dressing. Now you can add as much or as little dressing as you would like. I'm not like a super heavy dressing person, so I add a little bit less than uh, I don't know maybe the average human but this is so delicious okay you must 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 try this also if you have vegan parmesan you could also top the salad with vegan parmesan and it's super easy to make vegan parmesan just use cashews some spices blend it fantastic and I do have a vegan parmesan recipe somewhere so I'll link it below Alright guys, so I have finished making the bok choy Caesar and I want to try it on camera for you guys and I'm very very excited for this So I even made some chickpeas now. I'm not sure if I roasted these mm. They're not super crunchy. You could be more patient and make them more crunchy, but I have no patience <laughs> So let's just try a big old mouthful Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so excited Mmm it's so good it's so refreshing the dressing is nice and lemony but still very caesar like croutons are yummy You must try it guys. It's so refreshing and so good. This is probably like my seventh time making this, but every time I make it slightly differently just to like see how it is, but this is so delicious. The best part is you can make the dressing and keep it in the fridge. And anytime you want this, you can just cut up some bok choy. And same thing with croutons. You can just make a bunch of croutons in advance and then just keep them like in your pantry or even in your fridge and then you can have a salad whenever you want So that is it for my bok choy Caesar salad recipe. I really hope you guys try it out. And even if you don't try this recipe out, maybe you just want to try out using bok choy as your salad base because it has been a game changer for me. As always, you guys, my written recipe will be available in a blog post, which is linked down below. So if you guys want the measurements and stuff, you can check that out. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!